Hi guys, how are you all doing? Um, this video is going to basically show you a demonstration, so a setup and testing of the launch Easy Diag 2.0 Plus. Uh, it's a multi system, multi vehicle diagnostic tool uh, which will allow you to diagnose faults, read fault codes, reset warning lights for things like engine, ABS, transmission, airbags, things like that. We're going to use a iOS operating system. This is an iPhone 6 and we've already downloaded the app. It's called the Easy Diag app. I'll show you how to get that. So you just go into your app store. Um, or if you're using the Android, go into the place where you normally find your apps. So we'll, uh, we'll click on search here. And we'll just click on easy, easy diag. And this is it here. It should say free here. It's a free app. Um, if so, just click on free and it will download. Um, but we've already downloaded it, so it's just going to give us the option to open it. Um, so we'll come out of this. And then we'll actually go to the app. Now, where do we? Um, we've got options down the left hand side here. Click on the login button and it'll ask you for a username and a password. But we don't have anything just yet because this is the first time we're using it, so we've got to click on register. And then you need to put in a username, a password, confirm password, email, and then your country and then register. You probably, there you go, you can see that a bit easier there. So we're going to go ahead and register this now and then we'll, uh, we'll come back uh, for the next step. Alright, so we've just registered the unit. Uh, so we've just registered it ourselves and now what we need to do is, it's telling us, before experiencing the vehicle diagnosis software you need to register the connector, which is this thing and this is where this comes in hand here. So, register connector and it's asking us to put in See that there, product serial number and verification code. So, this will be your product serial number, and if you tear away the perforated edge, you will get your uh, verification code. Now, I'm going to do that now uh, for security purposes. I'm not going to show it on camera, but I'll go ahead and do that now, and I'll pop the information into the phone here. Alright, so as you can see, um, we've got on screen here registered successfully and download completed, now you can use the software. Alright, so now what we need to do is select our two free softwares. Um, we've got the options here, those are your North American, these are your European options, and then your Asian options. Right, so what we are going to do, we are going to, since we deal with European cars mostly, we're going to diagnose the, sorry, the uh, download the Mercedes Benz. So we just need to select the Benz, and also European Ford, which is Euro Ford here. So then we'll click next. Click next again. And there you'll see the software is downloading. So we'll come back to that once these are completed. So now as you can see we have downloaded the Mercedes-Benz, the EOBD2 and the European Ford. So basically what we're doing here is we can download, uh, sorry, diagnose any system within the Mercedes-Benz. We can down, uh, so we diagnose any system within European Ford. EOBD means we can diagnose any vehicle which is OBD2 compliant. Um, so in the UK that's petrol 2001 onwards or diesel 2004 onwards. So we'll just click OK to that. And then what we'll do is we'll select Benz here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into the vehicle now and we'll uh, into a Mercedes Benz vehicle. And what we'll do is we'll see if we can go start diagnosing some faults. All right, so now we're in the vehicle. We need to plug our connect it into the OBD2 port. The port on this vehicle is right here. Alright, so as you can see, we have the SRS, which is the airbag warning on this Mercedes-Benz. And we're going to use the 
uh, Lawn Cheesy Diag 2.0 Plus. So we'll click on to Benz. First of all, Bluetooth is not connected. Please connect Bluetooth. So what we need to do, I believe, is uh, we'll make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. And then it might take a few seconds extra to um, connect here, but we'll give it a try now. Right, we'll give that a few seconds and then we'll come back once it's uh, ready to connect. All right, so we're back now. We've got a good connection with the Bluetooth. So we'll click on Benz, checking Smartbox. There we go, we can select vehicle manually. Sorry if you can see a, a glare of the camera on the screen of the phone here. Not that I can do about that at the moment. Right, so it's an E-Class 211 as of 2006 onwards. So it's a sedan, it's a diesel engine, right hand steering, it's an E320 CDI. And we'll click on control units, click on the body, and we'll click on airbag. DTC. So we've got uh, 9007, the component or signal line to the. Give us any more information? It's not giving us any further information. We should be able to clear the fault memory and get rid of the, the warning light. Just thought this would give us a little bit more information. Well, the main thing is we've got the trouble codes in which the fault relates to. So what we can do now is go ahead and clear fault memory we should be able to get rid of the SRS warning light. There we go, clear fault memory. So the SRS light has gone off, it's telling us to switch off the ignition, which we'll do. And then we'll start it up again. There we go. The SRS light has been completely disabled. So it has worked. Um, we need a bit more information with regards to the, uh, the faults, in fact. What we'll now try to do is um, diagnose a fault within the engine system. All right, so we're, uh, we're gonna now check on engine fault codes. Um, we're in the right section, we just need to, we've gone into the uh, OBD2, so this is the, the generic way of testing for faults, engine faults, and this is what you can do in any vehicle, not just the, the, the series that you've downloaded, so click on read current DTC, and we've got P0030, um, so that's heater door 2 sensor, heater circuit, uh, bank 1 sensor, um, so we need to go ahead and change over a sensor. Uh, again, we need to figure out how to get further information from that. Um, that fault code, it would be quite easy to just go ahead and search online uh, what the P0030, uh, which sensor it is. For some reason, I don't know if it's got something to do with the tech size or anything like that, um, but it's not actually giving us, it should say bank one and then sensor one or sensor two. Uh, so it's not giving us that information. We need to figure out how to find that information. All right, that didn't take me long at all. What all you really need to do is get the first, so it gives you the fault and then you need to click on create world report. And then if you go to your menu, you click on my report, and this is the one you've just downloaded. There, it gives you more information there. So P0030, heated O2 sensor, heater control circuit bank one, sensor one. That's the information we were looking for. Uh, these are a few reports that we made earlier. And 
these are a few of the fonts that we also managed to find as well. So that's just a screenshot of what we were getting. Um, so there we go. It is quite uh, quite a good little tool. Once you've sort of uh, sort of worked your way around it and figured out exactly how to use it, um, I can see this being a very very good little tool. You can actually use this as long as you're within Bluetooth distance. So you could actually say, for example, be in the workshop, uh, one end of the workshop diagnosing the vehicle uh, while the ignition is on, and you know, like I say, you're at the other end of the workshop, or you could uh, put the uh, the the device into the OBD2 port and then if you had a little office within the uh, within the garage or within the workshop that was within Bluetooth range then you could also diagnose it that way as well very handy um, this is a Mercedes-Benz E-Class that we've been diagnosing we will be doing a lot more tests uh, but this video right now was just basically to show you really a quick demonstration of how it works remember this is the first time we're using it as well so uh, apologize if it wasn't exactly smooth uh, but the, the future videos that we make for this kit will be a lot better a lot smoother and we'll show you exactly what to do first time uh, this kit is available by clicking the link directly below this video or you can visit the website which is www.diagnostic-world.com thanks for watching